Hello all, welcome back to Shave with Peg Leg. Just going to do a quick head shave tonight with the Leaf Razor and a brand new, if I could pick it up, Statum Blade that I snapped in half and put in the bottom and in the center slots. Just using the B-Bald or B-Bald yeah, Shave Cream. Like I said, I, got, I ordered one of these to test it and I got three, so I'm just trying to get through that and we're using the Avon binocular set aftershave cologne of Thai winds which is their version of high karate the Avon version of high karate okay so let's get the dome wet That's good. Some be bald on there. Because this stuff doesn't really lather up. It just gets kind of creamy looking. Um, I wanted to use, I really did, I wanted to use um. Um, um, dum 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 dum. My uh, my Rolls razor. Jeez, I couldn't think of it. I kept singing the double R's for Rolls Royce, but I couldn't put the two together. The so Rolls razor for a head shave because I like the way that shapes, and I've got a bump back here on my head that I desperately wanted to use the rolls on to decapitate it and take it off my head but there's a very good possibility I might have to go see mom tomorrow at rehab and I don't need to go in with a big scab on the back of my head I'd rather just shave over it for tonight And if it's still there on Wednesday, well, Wednesday's cart day, so maybe I'll do something else with it. My little trimmer around the ears. Going with the green for now. I keep seeing, I don't watch a lot of TV. I'm watching Paramount Plus. Um, I have the, it's $98 plus tax for a year um, Walmart delivery. Um, I place my order instead of going to pick it up they deliver it for me and they will actually even bring it in the house and put it away for you if you want them to and it can cost you a tip every time but if you make sure your order is big enough it's not that big a deal it's still cheaper than going to get it for me so anyways I'm watching Paramount and I'm still trying to watch all of Discovery for four seasons on that and they keep showing these commercials for these drugs. And I guess it's a, it's a liability thing now. They keep, every one of them says, don't take this drug if you're allergic to it. Um, how would I know if I'm allergic to it if I don't take it? 
So it's their way of saying, screw you, if you take it and get a horrible reaction to it, you can't sue us for it because we told you not to take it if you're allergic to it. The legal ease anymore. I, I have firmly, firm, I am firmly convinced that aliens use this planet for an insane asylum. They bring all their nut jobs here, drop them off, and say, go be yourselves. <sighs> Anybody else with me on that? Because seriously, just seriously. shit off my fingers. All right. Starting here for a reason, because I want my glasses back on. But I can say, or I remember the first one. On this day, in 1850, a patent was granted for the first adding machine in 1850 now, an adding machine with depressible keys like typewriter style or like the old type you saw where they press button and they crank the handle similar to that it's got the depressible keys on it for a type for an adding machine then in 1861 the cinematoscope that's with a K or kinematoscope K I N E M A T-O-S-C-O-P-E was patented by Coleman Sellers in, in Philadelphia. And that's one of the things that it's like the box that you put the plates you run the plates through and you look through the slots and it looks like the image is moving because you're moving the plates through. One of those. In 1869, the world's largest alluvia gold nugget, alluvia as in alluvium, alluvium, yeah, metal, don't ask me. The Welcome Stranger is found by John Deason and Richard Oates. It weighed 97.14 kilograms or 214.15 pounds was found in Maliagu, Mal Maligia, yeah. M-O-L-I-A-G-U-L, Australia. Why can't you people make regular English sign sounding frickin' names? No, you gotta, you gotta stress my, my frickin' speaking skills, which are not great, because if you watch this channel, you understand why I'm not a public speaker. <sighs> In 1879, Joseph Swan demonstrates a light bulb using a carbon glow before Edison. 1901, loop the loop centrifugal roller coaster patented by Edwin Prescott opens in Coney Island. We'll get back to that one because that one's interesting. 1901, Pierpont Morgan, J.P. Morgan, forms U.S. Steel Corporation and helps bring in the wide use of steel and cheaper use of steel for construction and everything instead of cast iron. Cast iron was primary. Steel was around. It's been around since 1850s or 60s, but it was expensive to, to make. So most people use cast iron. 1840 steel's been around for a long long time but it was more expensive 
than cast iron and most most buildings were used cast iron for construction so him opening US steel to make steel cheaper helped improve steel's wide use in 1919 Hollywood film studio United Artists we all know the sound the name of United Artists was I bet you didn't know who founded that though this is interesting I didn't know this till I saw this it was founded by Charlie Chaplin Douglas Fairbanks Mary Pickford who was a very pretty lady back in the day and D.W. Griffith they founded United Artists the first publishing of Reader's Digest was in 1922 on this day Okay, now we're going to go back to the loop to loop roller coaster. Alright. It was a dual track steel roller coaster, 1901, same year that um, Morgan opened US Steel, that operated on Coney Island. It was an independent operator. It did not, it was not associated with the many um, amusement parks that were on Coney Island. It was independent. It was in Brooklyn, New York, Coney Island, from 1901 to 1910. It, or 19, from 1901 to 1910, it was an operation. 1910. Tight, tight, tight. It was one of the first looping roller coasters in North America. Actually, it was the second, but it was one of the first. It was designed by Edward Green and manufactured by Edwin Prescott. The coaster was built at the corner of West Tent and Surf Avenue on Coney Island near the current location of the famous Coney Island Cyclone roller coaster and it's the location of the former Switchback Railway it was a commercial failure because of low rider count and the reason they had low rider count is the safety commission would not authorize them to use more than one car on a coaster at, at a time they couldn't they weren't even allowed to link the cars up and run them as a train like we do now where we you know you get on a roller coaster and you got 10 cars behind you and each car has four to six people in it or sometimes eight but usually four to six more people in it they they wouldn't allow that for safety reasons so the coaster basically went bankrupt And yes, that was a picture of it that I posted earlier. But it was steel construction. And it was 10 cents per ride. Cost you a, a whole dime for one, one ride on it. But, 1901, they were doing loop to loop roller coasters. Another thing you wouldn't think that was fairly modern. I mean, you would think it was fairly modern, you know, you've seen them in what, the 70s or 80s? They started getting popular loop roller coasters. They definitely got really popular in the 90s. But yeah, 1901. Oh. 
a lot of these things I mentioned, I can't find anything else about them. They're just listed as that, and when I try and look them up, there's no other information on some of them. And some of them, there's like one or two sentences, and boop, it's done. That's all you get to know. You don't get to know history today. Sorry. I was reading today, I've read it before, but I was reading, rereading it again today. And if you want to read something interesting, the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge for that time period was flipping fascinating. How they made the coil wires for the suspension bridge, how they put this, this the towers up, how they they cl they cleared the water out, they dropped concrete shafts down into the water, pumped all the water out, and then put an elevator in or a lift in and dropped the guys down to the bottom so they could dig in in the in the bedrock at the bottom. And a couple, of, there was one of them that was so deep. They had to have platforms put in at certain stages so the guys could sit there and get reacclimated to the height because when they if they came straight from the bottom to the top, they got the bends. Even though they weren't in the water, but they were down deep enough that when they came up, they got the bends because they had to they had to pump so much air into the thing to keep it pressurized to keep the water from seeping in that they, the guys got the bends and the technology they had to put this thing up it's just incredible you should really because I don't my shaves are long you guys know I, I could go 30 a little, little over 30 minutes for a shave and that's not even enough time to justify the, the Brooklyn Bridge construction. You guys really just, you need to, and as usual, the Leaf wins. Best head shaver out there, it really is, guys. Um, the, the things that we did back in the mid to late 1800s, that you wouldn't even think that we could do. You know what I mean? It's it, it is it is incredible what we what we've been able to accomplish over time. Going straight to which hazel don't need the uh, not with the leaf. I don't need the the Allen block. Just, Straight to Witch Hazel. Uh, Ty wins aftershave cologne. Aftershave. We got the cologne over there. Which is Avon's version of high karate. Oi. Oi. much balm that's a little bit too much but not much Johnson & Johnson baby lotion I always use on my dome or try to always use it anyways it keeps my dome nice and soft and here's the cologne Smells good. Good. Nope. Oh, just lost the cap into the sink, but I got it. I collected it. Alright guys. I do 
like these blades. These are good blades. Um, I don't know who else is carrying them now. I, I HC and C Pete at Hendrix Classic and Company sent me a couple of these on orders that I placed, and they uh, they just sent them to me. They're good blades. They're I think they're like eighty nine cents a pack too for for five blades, ten blades. They're like a, a dollar eighty nine or eighty nine cents, something like that. They're real cheap for you, and they're really good. They're platinum coated. Platinum chrome. Platinum chrome bridge. Platinum chrome blades. Don't worry about me and my speech impediment, which is English. Um, yeah. Always has been. Alright guys, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Just checking that one spot that doesn't like to cut, and it, and it cut. See, it cut. Good head shave. All right. Probably got to go see mom tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I know I got to go. It's after 10 p.m. here now. Um, I was just watching TV and got carried away. And oh, one more episode. One more episode. One more episode. And four episodes later, it's like I really need to go shave my head. All right. Thank you guys for being here. Everybody. Appreciate it. Love you all. Thank you very much. Don't forget the affiliate link. If you're going to buy something from the Razor Company, um, when that account hits $25, I will get a $25 gift card. Give it back to you guys. And don't forget to check out the four links I'll put in the description box of those channels. Give those guys a like and a sub. Let's help them out. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And with that, I will say, done with the babbling fat guy in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there with the leaf on the head.